Hi everyone. I'm going to read the book of the octonauts and the frown fish for you today. Let's see. This is written by Naomi. It was a quiet and rainy afternoon at the bottom of the ocean when what happened? Let's see. Alert, alert, alert. There was a big alert. At that time, Professor Inkling was dusting the dust jacket. Tunip the vegemol was tossing a salad. Quasi kitten was watering his catnip. Peso penguin was pinging. Sheldon sea otter was ponging. Tweak bunny was playing a game. Captain Barnacle's bear was singing in the rain. Dashy dog was sounding the octonaut alert. Why did they sound the octonaut alert? Let's see. The crew hurried down to the headquarters to find Dashi monitoring the octopod screen anxiously. There's a fish with a very big frown outside, she reported to the others. He looks so glum that all the creatures around him are starting to get upset too. Everybody was walking and she loaded the computer. And then on the computer, they found lots of different types of fish. There was smiley fish, there was angry fish, there was hungry fish, there was sleepy fish, and there was a silly fish. <laughs> but there was no frown fish. It said file not found. I can't find a fish like him on the octonet, Dr. Shellington said excitedly. Could he be a new species? Octonauts, we should investigate, Professor Inkling declared. Up close, the little fish looked even more gloomier. Why are you so sad? Dashi asked with concern. But the fish only replied, Glob, glob. Perhaps if we understood his language, then we could help him, Dr. Shellington proposed. Shellington and Dashi spent hours in the lab trying to learn frown tea. But it proved to be a very difficult language to translate. Hmm. I don't think we can work much longer, Dashi sighed. I'm starting to feel unhappy myself. Let's think of other ways to cheer him up. Ha! Ah, playing music with my friends always brightens my day, Peso shyly suggested. He invited everybody to pick up an instrument. As the crew gathered together to play a happy song, other creatures joined in. There was a clam cap up capella group, a sea orchestra, and a baritone wail. They were making a lots of noises. Pling, plunk, wah, wah, doom, trom. Unfortunately, the frown fish didn't have an ear for music and continued to pout. It's hard to feel sad when you're being not glamorous. Or, ah, it's hard to feel sad when you're being glamorous. Quasi announced with a flourish. Let's have a dress up party. The little fish tried on many different costumes. It became the cowboy, the ghost, the princess, the magic user LVL, vampire, a bumblebee, clown, a doctor, an ice cream, oh, and a rock star, and also Frankenstein. Ah, oh, but none of them could disguise his sadness. He was still frowning. Dashi held up her favorite camera and asked, Why don't we visit the famous snail garden? We could have a photography field trip. The octonauts took photos of big snails and little snails, striped snails and polka dot snails. The frown fish, however, wouldn't even smile for the camera. It was a weird frown fish. Hmm. A game of miniature golf always tickles my fancy, revealed Dr. Shellington. The group putted and swung their way through many aquatic obstacles, sand shark traps, sea dragons, and electric eel tunnels. The frown fish scored a hole in one of the king crab courses, but he didn't look any happier. Hmm, what's with the frown fish? I like working with my paws. Let's build something, Tweak suggested. Surrounded by gadgets and contraptions, the crew constructed a robot tank for the frown fish. 
Twig stood back and admired their work. Now our friend can use his new sea legs to visit us inside the octopod. If possible, the frown fish looked even more frownier. Tunip chirped eagerly as it led the group into the kitchen. Vegemals love to cook and bake. Maybe the frown fish is hungry. Dr. Shellington interpreted helpfully. The whole crew set out to make their favorite pastries. They baked kelp cakes, kelp muffins, and even a fancy kelp souffle. The frown fish ate an entire plate of cookies, but he still looked unsatisfied. There's nothing like pursuing the printed world to stimulate the intellect and galvanize the imagination, Professor Inkling exclaimed to a confused crew. To the library, my delightful colleagues. Professor Inkling read from his favorite book of jokes, but the frown fish didn't laugh once. Frown fish must not have funny bones, Inkling decided. The other octonauts were too sh- weren't too sure as well. They didn't get the jokes either. Hmm, must have been a really boring joke book. Huh. I always feel better after I exercise, Captain Barnacle said. The octonauts swooshed down the slide, climbed the jungle gym and rode the seesaw. Peso and the frown fish sat on the merry-go-round while Quasi pushed them faster and faster until whoop, the frown fish the frown fish <laughs> the frown fish flew right off the little fish turned bounced and rolled over everyone rushed over in alarm they had only been trying to cheer him up <gasps> but now he might have gotten hurt oopsie to the octonaut's surprise the frown fish had a big smile on his face hmm of course professor inkling realized he is not a frown fish. He is an upside down fish. There are different types of fish that swim upside down. It's easier for them to spot food. This chap is a fine example of an upside down catfish. Everyone laughed in relief to discover that their new friend had been smiling the whole day. The catfish made a big up and turned himself back upside down again. Or was it the right side up? <laughs> this is the end of the story, my dear friends. See you tomorrow with a yet another big story. Bye-bye.